Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to remarry a Blu-ray drive on a PlayStation 3. Fat. I'm not sure if you can do this on the Slim, but uh, yeah, if I ever get the chance, one day I will try it. But for now, we're just going to do a Fat. Um, this one is a CECHG01, or I should say 01 and um, well the logic board we'll start with that the logic board is a B as in boy M as in mother D as in dog 002 I wish I would have made this video as I was remarrying the drive but it was my first time remarrying a drive and I didn't know if it could be done or not but um, well it can be done here's the thing you won't have blu-ray drive playback on some playstations the one I have here this model number I couldn't get the blu-ray drive uh, to play a blu-ray movie but I did get it to play DVDs and, of course, uh, PlayStation 3 games. I haven't yet tried a PlayStation 1 game in it yet because they were all uh, at another house. So I, I didn't have one, but um, I will try one one time and uh, maybe do an update and do some other things too. But uh, for now... What we're going to do is, uh, I'm going to show you the PlayStation real quick. This PlayStation had a 350 firmware in it. But um, I updated it to... Um, let's see, I think I, okay, yeah, so it was updated to a 355, but what happened was I downloaded something from Rogio, and, uh, when I went in, when I went to check the, uh, firmware, it actually said 370, so, it's probably some kind of spoof or something like that, I don't know too much about them right now, I'm just getting into, uh, you know, all this, so, anyway, I'm going to tell you how to remarry the Blu-ray drive. First, um, I don't know if I told you or not, I can't remember now, but uh, you gotta have a 355 firmware. It can be uh, official or it could be custom, but you have to have 355 for this process. It may work uh, on three. 50 and or 341 but uh, I'm not sure I know they have remarry files for those you know specifically for those so I don't know what would happen um, okay so here's the files that you're going to need hopefully you can see them Let me see if I can get the camera closer, because it's not really a camera, it's my cell phone. Okay, so I hope you, hope you saw that. Um, here's what we're going to do first. We're going to take... Oh, that's what I wanted to tell you. You're going to need something to get into factory service mode. I use an E3 card reader. Sorry, you can't see it too good, but just type in E3 card reader. These things are awesome. They they work great. So you'll need that, and uh, you'll need a Blu-ray drive 
Um, not a drive, I'm sorry. A Blu-ray CD for the drive. Because when it's in factory service mode, you have to put one in. And um, it adds a file to the drive to allow you to play it. Now, of course, mine didn't work, but um, yours might. Uh, some of them do and some of them don't. It matters what kind of PlayStation you have. So besides the E3 downgrade dongle, you'll need a flash drive. This is just a regular flash drive. I just wrote remarry on it because I'm going to put the remarry files on here. I, I took everything off of these because I want you to know what I'm doing. I don't want to be like those other people and have the files already on there and you're thinking, well, what did he put on there? All the files? Some of the files? You know, so I don't want to do that, so here we go. We're going to take this one file here. This is... Uh, sorry, my mouse gets stuck sometimes. This is the one that gets into factory service mode, so I'm going to put in my E3 flasher, uh, E3 card reader. Are, it's about 4.07 in the morning right now and I'm a little tired so I might make some mistakes but uh, I'll correct them so you'll put this into the computer and there's going to be two folders that show up on here one is going to be an E3 folder an E3 upgrade that's usually uh, mo mostly for the uh, E3 flashes. So we're going to delete, we're going to take that one out. And we're going to use the one that says removable. As you can see, the folder is empty. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this LV2 diag self and put it in. Now this video is already seven minutes, so when it gets to about... Uh, I don't know, maybe about 10 minutes. I'm going to stop it, and um, I'll make the second video. Uh, hopefully, we can do it in two videos. If not, I'll make another one. No problem. But I just, I just want you guys to see exactly what I do. I don't want to skip anything. And if I've skipped something, please let me know. Okay, so that's on my E3 card reader. So uh, I'll X this off. And I'll take it out. And I'm going to put it in the PlayStation. Let's see if I can get you down here. Now, I'm going to be holding the camera, so it's going to be a little shaky. So, try not to get too dizzy, all right? It's a little hard to hold. All right, so, um, power's off. As you can see, there's no light. I was off on the back. I'm going to put this into the right USB port. The right one is the one towards this way. Now we're going to turn it off on the back. And you don't have to see what's on the screen because nothing's going to come on the TV screen at this time. But there's a red light on the right side of this uh, E3 card reader and a blue light on the left side so the the red light should light and then the blue light should light and then this red light on the PlayStation should turn green so if everything goes well that's what will happen so what we want to do now is we want to press power and eject as quick as you can I guess uh, I don't think you could press it too quick I've never heard of that but anyway you just it's very easy you just go like this That's perfect. See, we're into factory service mode right now. So what I'll do is I'll take out the E3 card reader. We're done with that for now. Now you could leave the PlayStation on with the red light. There's no need to turn it off from the back. Now let's go back up here.
Okay, we'll minimize. No, you know what? We'll need almost all of these. Make sure you take a look at these. Let me get you up close like before. Okay. So you need almost all of these. So now I'm going to use a regular flash drive. This one has a little light on it. The other one I'm going to use to at the end of the process to get us out of factory service mode. It doesn't have a light on it, so I'll just look at the PlayStation and know when it turned off. So here we go. This is the one I showed you before. I just wrote Remarry on it. And it's just a regular thumb drive, uh, flash drive. It's 8 gigabyte. I don't know if that matters how many gigs they are, but anyway. I'm going to plug it into the computer. And here's my here's my folder I opened up. So now what I'll do is I'll drag in. You want to drag in five. I think it's five files. So we want this one. Uh, this this one here is the one that came with the remarry. I believe it's a 3.30 firmware. Not sure if it's a modified firmware or original, but anyway, you'll take that one and you'll take the manufacturer manufacturing one and LV2 diag and FDM. Take that one. And you'll take this CFG. Now, the CFG one, make sure you don't open that and extract the folder. I don't think you're supposed to do that. So you just leave it like it is. It's a yellow envelope, but if you did click on it, there's, a, there's another folder inside there. You can open it up with, like, WordPad or something, and you can change 0 to 1. And it just does different things. I can instead of the board when it's done it'll flash off uh, or it won't flash off it's everything's all set though so you don't have to touch anything like that okay this this video is going over 12 minutes so i'm going to stop it right now and when i come back you'll still see everything exactly how it is all right i'll be back